Kendrick just bodied Drake again in a song called 616 in LA, a play on Drake, always making timestamp songs in Calabasas, in Charlotte, in New York, in Miami. So 616 in LA, the day that the OJ murder trial was submitted in court, the murder trial, the cover art for the song is a black Maybach glove. Again, Maybach music, Rick Ross, warning Drake, right? OJ Simpson, the, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit, right? So the black glove for Kendrick Lamar dropping it at 6.16 a.m. And let's get into some of them bars, man. Uh, so apparently uh, we use an Al Green sample, which I picked up on immediately. Again, Kendrick sample, Teddy Pendergrass, now he samples uh, Al Green. And apparently the song that Kendrick sampled, uh, Drake's uncle, play guitar on the song so more 4d chess from the kung fu master kendrick uh, 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 uh kenny hendrix you know what i'm saying right so let's get into it right also today uh, uh 616 not today i'm sorry 616 the name of the song is also the day that the series euphoria premiered and again euphoria is the name of kendrick's first disc to drake because Drake is an executive producer on Euphoria, okay? Good job. Now, he talks about uh, um, a lot of things in the first half. He pretty much basically talks about why, who am I not to go to war, right? There's an opportunity when living with loss. I discover myself when I fall short, right? So he's basically saying, look, man, I love my peace. I love chilling, but if it's time to go to war, I'm gonna smoke somebody, right? I'm gonna smoke dudes. That type of thing, right? So uh, there's a lot of bars in here that, again, probably went over my head because I don't rap genius everything. I just listen, right? Uh, but I did. I didn't want to overreact, right? So I took my time. I listened to it a bunch of times, and um, he basically told Drake, "Man, you got to tighten up your team, right?" So he says, uh, uh, he goes back to the same things. Remember, he's dropping back to back without Drake having an answer. And Drake did back to back on me. So basically, remember in Euphoria, Kendrick is like back to back. I like that record, right? Let me get back to that for the record. So we didn't even know Kendrick was going back, gonna go back to back, but he did, right? So he goes back to back on Drake, right? Flips it back on him. So in the first Euphoria track, he asked Drake, he said, "Have you ever played? Have you ever?" Right? Then he asked him, "Have you ever walked down your your opponent, uh, opponent or your enemy with a poker face?" Right. Have you ever paid 500K for, you know, for a case or whatever? Right. So then he goes back to that on 616 in L.A. He says, he said, uh, are you finally ready to play? Have you ever? Let's see. Have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? Fake bully. I hate bullies. You must be a terrible person. Everybody inside your team is whispering that you deserve it. You can't to Tootsie slide up out of this one. It's just going to resurface. Every dog have his day now living your purpose right so he basically uh, again drake's song is tootsie slide left foot slide right foot slide basically you know, yeah so kendrick flipped that shit on him right he said you can't tootsie slide up out of this right uh he said if you were street smart he said uh know the wires in your circle should puzzle you if you were street smart then you would have caught that your entourage is only to hustle you a hundred niggas that you got on salary and 20 of them want you as a casualty one of them is actually next to you and two of them is practically tired of your lifestyle just don't got the audacity to tell you but let me get uh but let me tell you some game because i can't i can i'm reading this and i'm fucking up all the cadence right because i listen to the song but i'm just trying to read the lyrics and so but he basically said i can tell uh, uh but let me tell you some game because i can see that you my little homie you playing dirty with propaganda it blow up on you you're playing nerdy so uh then at the end of the song he asked him uh before you figure you're not alone ask what mike would do so basically i y'all know that mike made a song you are not alone and he keeps playing on this uh michael jackson shit. but overall um bro euphoria is just continues to impress me over and over and over i listen to it a whole bunch of times i listen to it a lot honestly uh i really fuck with euphoria uh i think uh 616 in la uh, I think Kendrick should have used the first half of the song to keep dissing Drake, but I respect that he kind of like made it a song. Like, look, bro, I know y'all want to see me beefing and shit with dudes, but 
you know, I'm a peaceful guy. I don't care about fame. That's kind of what he's been on, right? But overall, I would say it was pretty, it was it was, it was was a good track, bro. It was a good track. Um, I probably do have to listen to it more, just like Euphoria. Like, at first when I heard Euphoria, I wasn't amazed or blown away by the beat. But the more I listened to it, and I, I appreciate the intro with Teddy Pendergrass and how he creeped in on that motherfucker and kind of just sat Drake down like, you my son, bro. Let me put on some old school tunes. Let me show you where we really come from. And then the beat kicked in and then he fucking mocked him in the uh, the Canadian voice. Uh, had several patterns, set up several uh, bars ahead of time. Like, I'm going to tell you in eight bars. Then he said, yeah, I'm going to kill my friends. I'm Y&W Melly. Also, the, the uh, you know, be, having a been in my house, been a rat, a snitch, talked about Gunna, say he got shit on uh, Drake that make look uh, Gunna want to look like a saint, right? Uh, and then he talked about wires in 616 in L.A. So Kendrick is basically alluding to uh, there being moles in Drake's uh, uh, crew that he's being, he's actually being extorted and he's paying for relationships. Basically say, you ain't got no real niggas around you. That's basically what he told him, right? So, overall, man, good this. I, I think, I think, you know, if we going on the ether scale, ether is a ten. I would say takeover is a ten. Uh, even though I felt like ether was a little stronger, uh, hit him up. You got to go ten for the disrespect and the energy. Um, Beanie Siegel and Jada, those was probably nines, strong nines. Uh, I would give uh, uh, control. A eight or a nine i would give uh push-ups push-ups i give like probably like a three honestly i thought it was absolutely trash i didn't think he said anything noteworthy besides metro shut your ass up and do some drums nigga uh you you how you side how you big stepping with size seven men's on kind of just it wasn't really, bro. That's not really bars, bro. Um, uh, let's see. Um, my fault, y'all. I'm, I'm actually working right now as I'm trying to do these reactions. Um, so, uh, getting back to how I rated them, Euphoria, to me, Euphoria is, is turning into a strong eight or a nine honestly bro the the different cadences and flows that kendrick went through the the triple quadruple entendres the shit that most people are overlooking because they didn't grow up in black culture um it was just all there bro and i just keep listening to it it just is hot to me like that uh 6 a.m in la like i said i wanted to take my time and give it a few spins before i really uh gave my opinion on it i like the bar where he said basically have you ever thought of that uh, OVO is working for me? That type of thing. But uh, I think I'm gonna give that, I think I think it's slightly better than push-ups. Uh, I thought the AI shit was, you, you get a zero for using AI. You, you get nothing for, for, for AI, but I don't know, man. Maybe I give 6 a.m. in LA a six, you know, for the six God. But uh, yeah, I think it was dope that Kendrick went back to back. I think Kendrick right now is, He's bro. He's just walk. He's just basically walking Drake down in the high guard. You know what I mean? Keeping the jab on him. He's hitting him with uh, left strong left hooks to the body. You know, a couple uppercuts. You know, uh, Drake is trying to clinch, but Kendrick is really just putting that pressure on him. He's avoiding the clinches. And um, if Drake, if Drake don't move right, bro, if he don't make his next move, his best move, he's going to get countered bad by Kendrick. We still haven't seen cartoons and serial Kendrick. This shit, mama da ba da da ba da 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 da. We still haven't got that really all out Kendrick snapping on the nigga. We haven't got DNA. Uh, tell me something. You motherfuckers can't tell me nothing. I'd rather die than listen to you. Your DNA an abomination. This is how I live, and when you living in the matrix, stacking all you go da 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 da. He haven't really went hard on niggas like that. And a lot of you, Drake sassy stands. Y'all don't realize that it's levels to this shit. It's chess, not checkers. And when, when Kendrick bring that version of himself out, nigga, the diabolical Kendrick, it's over. With that said, they about to start playing music on me. Let me know what y'all thought about 6 a.m. or 6.16 in L.A. 
and drop whatever I left out. I probably left out a lot of shit because I'm rushing, but I'm out. Peace.